The ability to make fire is an essential survival skill and possibly the most important survival skill you can learn. With fire you can make water safe to drink, you can cook food, you can generate heat and used in the right way it will even offer protection. There are many ways to make fire and one of those methods is with what's called the fire piston. Sometimes called a fire syringe. It's got a rod that goes down inside a chamber and uh, with enough force and speed the air actually compresses and heats up to 400 degrees um, enough so that it can light a little bit of tinder, generate a coal that you can then remove, transfer to another pile of tinder and ideally blow into a flame. Fire piston has been used for centuries. Um, it was quite commonplace in Europe uh, in households before the invention of the match and um, it's seen extensive use throughout Southeast Asia over the years. There's no spark necessary in this case. It operates in the same principle as a diesel engine. There are different types of fire pistons, but they all function generally the same. This is one with a hickory handle or case. Um, campfire piston makes this one. The tinder cavity is right in the end. There is an O-ring here that creates a seal for the air. And this is the plunger. You load your tinder inside here and give it a good pop on a hard surface and uh, as you'll see that generates enough heat that the char cloth in this case will create a coal. So to get this going I'm going to take a little bit of char cloth I'm going to rip it off. I'm going to have that ready to stack inside the tinder cavity and you need to lubricate this o-ring because it needs to be able to move smooth and fast so you can use a, a little bit of Vaseline, you can use some chapstick or you can even use some spit. <coughs> So lube up just the o-ring, wipe the rest of it down. Now with everything but the o-ring dry, I'm going to pack in some char cloth, nice and tight in there. And then I'm going to get my little poker ready so that when this is done and it has a hot coal, I can just pop it out and put it in another pile of tinder that I'll blow into a flame. First I'm going to prepare the tinder that's going to receive the hot coal. I'm going to take a piece of birch bark, scrape it up. Then I'm going to add some dry grass. Then I'm going to add some shredded cedar bark. And the last and final ingredient, magical dried pine needles. 